So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and to say he has put Dublin, Ireland on the MMA map has got to be the understatement of the century. McGregor has vaulted into superstardom, former UFC featherweight champion, UFC lightweight champion, the only simultaneous two-division champion, and has become the biggest superstar mixed martial arts has ever seen in UFC history. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet because if you're going to employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. This guy is taking shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, the King! And the attributes are with me in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here in the He's heavyweight right. division. All right, ready for live action here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in the fight capital of the world. Well, they are all standing inside this arena because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. Now let's see how it goes for him. You know Conor's going to be fighting elite competition, so how does it go after more than 600 days outside the octagon? McGregor gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Joe, how do you think he approaches this challenge tonight? One thing to look out for in this fight are the counter shots of Conor McGregor. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. with the punch there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. Nice jab. Huge uppercut misses. Oh, strong punch there by McGregor. Oh, double jab. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, tagged him. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Excellent head movement. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. That's again the experience. Under a minute now to go in the round. Double jab there by McGregor. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Oh, he missed that kick. He's got good accuracy on that jab. First round winding down here. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Wrong out for the end of round one. Here's a look at some of the action here. And that's what started everything off, that beautiful jab. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. All right, have a seat, have a seat. Listen, everything, our game plan is working, right? Everything he throws, you're countering right on time. Keep up. Brittany Palmer in the building as usual. to round two. All right, round two underway. Round one, pretty entertaining. Not the greatest round of the year, per se, but pretty good action on both sides. Joe Rogan, your thoughts on what we saw from either fighter through those first five minutes. Oh, clipped him with the jab. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage, kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Total strikes. Flipping with the jab, and sweet, man. Oh, nice punch there by McGregor. Lands an overhand. McGregor's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Try to establish that jab. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, this could be it right here. Oh, straight right. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. And he's, che he's checking every single one of those. And both guys really throwing with a four. Straight right hand, no good. Oh! He's definitely hurt. Hard straight punch. Oh! Oh, he might be out. And here's
here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Oh! Big knee to the body! Oh, this is a big knee! This could be it! Right hook attempt, but it's no good. Right on the button. Just misses with the right. Blocks the shot. Caught him. Timed it perfectly. Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice job to avoid the clinch. He's hurt. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, McGregor's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. There he swung with a haymaker. Body kick now by McGregor. Oh! Conor McGregor gets up. The question beckons, though, for how long. He still looks like he hasn't quite recovered. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. How about that chin? Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. So clock starting to become a factor here. He's got double underhooks here. And pummels under and out of double underhooks. Tying up the clinch, looking for openings. McGregor's got double underhooks. Almost under. Maintains the underhook. Really missed with that right hand. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. All right, so somehow, some way, he survives to hear that final horn but he in all likelihood is not gonna have his hand raised here tonight. There should be a clear winner in this one. He knocked his opponent down multiple times in the fight, and you gotta think that's enough to get him the nod from the judges in this one. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-26, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Pierce. All right, so there he is, your winner tonight by way of decision. So he didn't get the finish that he was looking for, but he will certainly take the nod there and the accompanying win, Money, Congratulations on one of the bigger wins of his UFC career.